Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tabletop Translations which is coming to you late today because I got through this mission yesterday but you're not gonna see that video because a recent OBS update made it so the game sound wasn't recorded so fresh install with the previous version and back to business as usual so this will be pretty late I do apologize but hopefully it'll be worth it the last time I had a decent run there was harrowing points and it was a good game I'll probably upload it as a bonus video but this is the one actually meant for the series now hopefully provided I win which I should now that I've beaten it once I have a better understanding of the mission Inside now. You said you knew this place, Rourke. What now? How do we get in? I only said I knew where it was. And here it is. You won't be satisfied until we're all dead. Your commander's death is not on my hands, Lieutenant. We're getting closer, Lieutenant. Break it down, Sergeant. The rest of us will deal with the Reds. Here they come. Let's get through that gate, lads. Make it quick, Sergeant. We need to keep moving. I understand she's in a lot of pressure, but is it just me or does Jake sound like an impudent child while addressing Rourke right now? I mean, I get it, she's angry and she has right to be, but still, there's a line. Honor and glory. I forgot I wanted to give uh, Bandit a focus to get him to do his dual attack thing where one focus can be used for two things. Oh well. Because it turns out that these assault commandos are just in range. Well, at least we did some damage. I'm not going to complain about that. Then I'll just close up the distance a little more. Why won't you select the storm blade? Thank you. Jake's going to take a turn, and we're going to see some Warcaster offensive magic. And since we have all that focus, we're going to boost to hit and to do damage. Nice, took out the one commando. That is nothing to sneeze at. position these trenchers to get more work done next turn. Oh, and we can totally use a smoke bomb. Let's do that. Let's cover him in rock. Smoke. 
That's everyone from my side. Let's see what these two remaining commandos do. Ouch. That's not too bad. Alright, concealment did me a favor. And now we've got some Winter Guard. Yeah, we're not going to have Jake's do anything left. First, let's move that sergeant before I forget him. Alright, Rourke, let's see some brutality. Could do the Winter Guard, but... Ah, two damage. That's not much at all. Give us an aiming bonus. Fire. Then it wants you get some work done. Killed him. He doesn't really have anywhere to go but back, and I don't want to move back yet. I will want to soon. Nuts. No aiming bonus for you. So we'll do it as a CRA. No, no. Weight of dice. Yeah! That's what I want to see. We're gonna make an assault move! Charge! Nice! Alright! Yeah, you took your shot. Ah! Oh, too far for an assault move. That sucks. Well, too far for any charge, really. Uh, what we're gonna do then is... I wonder if this one to be covered by a smoke bomb. Oh wait, we can't smoke bomb because reasons. Could move to engage. We're gonna move to engage. Not how I want it to pan out, but white on blue, or blue on white technically, it's not working out for me. I don't get my second initial, so I'll have to buy. I don't know. Oh, the, uh, okay, yeah, I only gave him two focus. Six will just move up here. That way she'll be able to charge the iron fangs that are going to show up shortly. Got a trench to move still. I'm up in a similar way to the last one. We and I think, yep, king. one more Stormblade. Gonna move him up to be ready for a charge too. Probably won't be able to charge with him, but he'll be able to get something done. Possibly with a backstrike. Ooh! That's not little. 
That's not even littler. Alright, so, good news, we got a couple of maneuvers to make for some back attacks. Bad news, we're still kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. You know what? Jake should keep most of it. That's why I'm only giving him so much, because he's totally engaged on all fronts right now. So let's start off with our two trenchers here. Get them into a CRA. And now it's fire. Not bad. Bennett, why don't you take a turn? You have an attack. You may as well use it. Did something. How many turns left on that? Two turns. So you're good where you are. You probably don't have range. Oh, you do have range. Aiming bonus will negate the engage bonus, but it doesn't do anything still. Let's try with you. There we go. That did something. Work. Brutality. No brutality, but we hit it. Let's move right in to engage. And we're going to hit with a thunder thrust. Ah, second attack didn't hit. Jakes, your turn. You totally did not go for the one I wanted you to. That's a pain in the butt. And that's why not being able to see the interface is a problem. Okay, bad news is that doesn't really seem to have helped. And my process monitoring does say that seems to be the game. Great. Even with the backstrike bonus, she missed. At that time. Yo, select. I don't think I'm technically engaged right now. Crap! Totally didn't work out the way I wanted it to. <sighs> this game really screws you when it comes to the movement. And now the game will let me choose who I want to hit. No game, you and I, not friends. when it almost always misses. Oh, for once it hit! Anyone else? Nope, that's everybody. Blasting pipes! Ready! This might hurt. Might hurt again. I think the red's got the best of me on this one.
Doesn't hit Bandit, but that's okay. Oh, it does hit Bandit. Awesome. Oh, that's not where I wanted you to go. It's friggin' interface. Seriously, who decided that blue on white made sense? I understand it's blue for Signar, but you think they could have done something where it stands out a little brighter. For the honor of Signar! Jacks up first. At least this one. Crap, that is out of Jake's control range. Then it's useless next turn. I don't think he needs to do much. Blimey. I blame the energized interface. Yes, sir. You've activated. You've activated. Oh, it's left the slow answer, I believe. And that's everyone. Possibly blocked off, so. Let's start with Jake's. She's going to wind up using Energize. Just so Bandit can get out of the way. Yep, Bandit's in. trenches in too far. But I do want to make sure that there's room for others to move. Maybe if we had an ironclad. Find another way inside. We didn't climb this mountain just to die on top of it. See there there Jake sounds competent and in control. But then when she talks to Rourke being all I blame you for the commander's death just sounds like a petulant child. And I like Jake's. So I don't like saying that. I understand why she's not very keen of work right now. I'm not saying she's wrong. I think she's just being written in a way that doesn't express it well unless you are going for the fact that she is relatively immature which also makes sense because she is a journeyman warncaster she's maybe in her early 20s she doesn't have a lot of experience almost as green as the grass beneath the snow Long live the king! 
then it's being skipped this turn. Now, the Stormblades and their heavy armor aren't anywhere near as quick as the Trenchers. Hopefully, though, we don't leave too many of them behind. Alright, so let's let this bandit, who I said we're not using this turn. Eliminate them. Now you got some more commandos. Those walls look weak, Lieutenant. Perhaps we can make our own entrance. You'd better hope so. Sergeant, we need a hole in that wall. One hole right away, ma'am. Something I commented on yesterday while recording that occurs to me now to mention is it strikes me as odd that when you select units Okay, don't prove my point uh, They're often saying sir, which I understand they're addressing the player, but A, they don't know the player's gender and B, in the game, they are being led by a woman you have range, you do not. Can you hit the other one? You cannot. That's okay by me. Dodging SOB. Oh, we can do it right from here. Probably only, yeah, only with Snipe. You've got a lot of health left, so I want to try and hit you with brutality. Nope, nope. You know what? Let's do Bandit first. Jake's head has to move up, so I don't care that Bandit's currently out of control range. I almost hit. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Unfortunately, he's still standing. I don't know if that was heard, but that's our classic animal interruption. Bucket's just... Bucket's up. Bucket's is not an especially graceful cat. Let's put it this way, Buckets makes me feel like I need to order a bunch of webcams, leave running all the time, and just filter through the day's footage as I go. Oh! Smeg! Mana Wars! The best way to describe Mana Wars is in Empire of Kador, Lightjack is Yule! Kador literally does not have any light war jacks. They have mana war shock troops. Guess them. Ooh, good miss. Miss again. Nuts. Not the worst damage. Thankfully, because they are essentially light jacks, they are slow. Uh, 
Hunter won't need to run. Maybe it will. All right. Right where we need to be to set up the charges. Honor and glory. Uh, let's not worry about you guys yet, just because there's a lot going on. I'm gonna give up the aiming bonus to move Bandit in a better place. Down goes one assault commando. Down goes two assault commandos. And that's why I made use of Bandit. Now my goal presently is just to hole up over here. Just run, man. Just run. Put some distance on there, Rourke. Jake's will go next, obviously. Sorry, I was taking a drink. We got a clear enough path we can run them up. Now when I first got into War Machine, Signar was the big faction that drew me. They didn't, I didn't start playing them right away because uh, I tried to get my girlfriend the t at the time into it by playing the Circle of Boros, which is druids and wolves and stone living constructs. Blimey. I thought that would appeal to her more, so I was like, I'm gonna get her in. This is the way. Didn't work. Kinda regret that now. But I've recently been getting into Signar, but uh, the thing that really drew me is the fact that A, they really carry the steampunk aesthetic. B, they are very traditional military. And C, their primary element is electricity. These were all big positives to me. Apparently there's a lot of contention in the fluff for Signar and its military between the trenchers and the more traditional knights, like the Stormblades and things like that. Leave no one breathing. Either way, you got two kinds of traditional military in there, and it's kind of cool. It's hot in here. If you guys would be so kind as to stop moving and producing units for a little while, that'd be awesome. Get the aim bonus. Come on, select them. Thank you. Nice. I will not complain about that. Don't 
don't know anything about that either. Now you should be able to make an assault charge. Target the other one. Get some room in there. Nuts! Come on, hit with the hell. There we go. That's something. For the honor of Signar. Can I get the range attack off? Nope. Just hold your position and get the charge next turn. What about you? Can you do it? You can do it. Hit him! Hit him! Nuts! Nothing! Should love the Rorks and the Jakes. Rorks. Eh, I thought there was more than one of them. How much Jakes would hate that? Now, Jakes, can you get a charge? Yes, you can. Let's do that. That was the wrong spot to do, in case he doesn't die. That was mighty silly of me. Did I say he doesn't die? In case he does die, because that way I can hit the other guy too. Which is indeed what happened. So instead, I will have to use Energize. Lancer was not in range, no surprise. Good, that will put the Lancer in control range. Unfortunately, Jake's facing the wrong way, but we can work with that. I said move, Sergeant. <clears throat> Let's move the Lancer on up in case we need some support. There we go. That's everyone. Miss. Yes. Oh wait, he's got two. Ah, smeg. I think more just moving the place. Yep. Yes, they did. Still more, jeez. It's popping near. Good. Hopefully, a cook. that it's once again my turn that's the lancer could help for us to run give the charger one just to negate the engage bonus jakes will camp the rest
Let's see you die. Thank you. Ooh, dodging SOB. That's all right. Good. And a little bit of something to his neighbor. And that's why I keep using that attack. Every little bit to cause a little more damage is a good thing. Now, in this case, attacking the weak one is not the best call. It's because this should kill it. No, did not. How shocking. <laughs> or rather not. Uh, bad pun is bad. Really, he's the only one. I guess I don't have line of sight to the other one to do it. Range attack missed. And so the melee. Shoot. You're facing the wrong way to get a charge off. And I know that changing facing is going to ruin that. So it looks like you're just getting shot at, which sucks. But I know I would give him more to Bandit. Ah, oh, Snag. Alright. Let's do something kind of dangerous. Oh, can't even do that. Nothing's in range. Jake's is useless this turn. She would my keystone piece, but instead, she's dead weight. That sucks. Alright, Sergeant, counting on you. We hit. Didn't kill him, but we hit. In Mark II of War Machine, you had a chance to hit your own guys if you were doing a attack into melee. That's not who I want to use. Why'd you select sl Trencher? I don't have line of sight yet on. How strange. Have a name. This could be bad. Miss. Miss. Oh boy. They're getting too close for my liking. White Moon Dreams, I don't know if you guys are working on much or intend on doing anything else, but your optimization code really needs a lot of work. And I don't feel good saying that. Mm. 
Awesome. Not awesome. Jake has room to make the charge. That's what I wanted to see. That's the reason I decided to do it with Jake's. Sprint. Okay, we're just gonna hole up in our corner here until that wall blows. I'll take the lot of them. Or you'll run, because that's what you're good at. your orders. See, I really want to like this game a whole lot more than I do. So far I'm liking the story, and I'm liking the relatively we accurate translation game. from the miniatures game. There's a bunch of abstractions, a bunch of simplifications, like all these stat lines are wrong. Because most of them should be based on a 2D6 mechanic. Up to a 4D6 mechanic, depending upon other boosts. I mean, when you boost an attack roll, that's an additional die. When you boost a damage roll, that's an additional die, but there could be something like Weapon Master, which grants a die beyond that. But we're still seeing a lot of these hiccups. It's hot in here. A lot of frustration in the UI. A lot of unclear relations. I get the idea that if I were more of a war machine diehard or purist, this might make me cranky. But thankfully for my patience, uh, I prefer the miniatures game Infinity. Oh man, his corpse went all the way back here. Move those who are closest first. <sighs> See, that was so hiccupy I couldn't even turn the camera. We can save a game partway through its mission. I gladly uh, 
save, exit, try again. This game decides when you're out, you're done. You're facing the wrong way. Frankly, this engine is actually part of the reason that I find myself getting burnt out on this game. This makes the game just so difficult to play. I mean, War Machine is not an easy game in the first place. And it's designed that way. It's rewarding to those who really invest to it, and I like that about it. I absolutely love the world and the characters and the story. But this translation... I want to like it so much more than I can. This was a game that was Kickstarter that I wasn't able to get in on. Uh, I wasn't on Kickstarter at the time that was done. Didn't have the option to do it. And it makes me wonder if uh, I haven't looked at the campaign at all. Like I heard little bits about it from podcasts and things like that. But it makes me wonder, with more communication from a guy like me who's on the tech side of things as well as the hobby side? have been able to help them out a little? Or was this a case of there was a lot of pressure and no amount of feedback could change that? It's a lot of curiosity, I admit. Uh oh. More commandos. I said the most random thing pop in my head. Maybe on- Oh, smeg. Two destroyer warjacks and a warcaster. This is not good for me. This is not good at all. I really hate this camera. Alright, next time we should be able to get everyone onto and partway over the bridge. Have the sergeant set up the charges. Because I'm guessing that's our best way of not dying. Especially with the green square being there. Basically cries out, I'm an objective point. That could be the mission then. Okay, I actually know, and we both know that, if you were paying attention earlier. That is not the mission end. Indeed, you have to blow the bridge. stutter and stuff does make me wish I could see how this game was coded though. Like what language, uh, were there any sort of conventions that were missed, were they too dependent upon a third party system such as PhysX. I understand that, that developing physics engines and things like that is a lot of work so it is much more cost effective and time effective to often contract it out. But if you're not familiar enough, that can result with very, very buggy and problematic systems. I don't know if that's the case here. Again, this is all speculation and curiosity on my end. 
I have no friggin' idea. Long live the king! Alright, that's everyone. Let's go see what the reds do. All this stagger is really frustrating me. It wasn't this bad when I recorded yesterday. I can only imagine how difficult this is for you guys to watch with all this slowdown and stuff. I know we're pretty much near the mission end now, but it's to the point where I might just say, go watch the one I recorded yesterday, it was silent. It's Throw on some here. music in the background. Inside now. Three hundred feet of nothing, I hope. Once we're all across, take out the brick supports. You're getting the hang of this, Lieutenant. I prefer a stand up fight. It served me well. Commander Sturgis never ran. Perhaps he should have. Don't. Here they come! Are you trying to get castrated, Rourke? Because that's how you get castrated. How do they get around there in the first place? Nope, we're just gonna run. Let's at least face the right way, Rourke. Sergeant, your mission, should you like it or not, is to set a charge now. And hopefully we all get across before we die. Smoke! Everyone stand clear! Um, where can we move to? Oh, I'm choosing the wrong one. I want this one.
Come on, game. Cooperate. Go slow pokes. That's probably gonna get bandit engaged, but that's not a big deal. Jake's gonna take care of that and still have room to move. So storm blades I'm more concerned about. I'm sorry for all the stagger, everyone. My computer is really crapping the bed on this one. Which is strange, because I've got 16 gigs of RAM running on i7 Intel processor. This shouldn't be a hardware issue. And yet the games occupy most of the CPU. any ideas why this might be a problem please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and I'll try and sort it out from there camera I'm still convinced I can make the Lancer run it's just gonna take a little bit of doing Thankfully, Jake's doesn't have to worry about free strikes.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yes, ma'am. They'll never know what hit them. Really? Can't even hit with a ranged attack. Honor and glory. Did something. Did nothing. It's on the off chance anyone decides to try. Here we go with the massive slowdown. Crap! Oh, he's most of the way dead. That's everyone, though. Leave no one breathing. Yeah, I knew that one was going to hit. Oh, this is frustrating. It was not so choppy yesterday. If anything's gonna make this so long, it's just the frigging lag. We will destroy them. us now. So let's do us a favor and lead him with shakes.
Did he die? He died. Said face the other way, you stupid lancer. There. <clears throat> no range, so we're going to keep on running. change them right direction. Ugh. I can be such an idiot. I think I'm relying too much on the abstraction of the electronic translation to remember how this game is played at its core. It's not where I wanted you. This is... That's everyone on my side. <sighs> Is he engaged? Looks like Jake's has some work to do. Freaking resource hogging. I'm sorry guys, it's just really frustrating. I imagine anyone who's still sticking it out right now agrees. Huh, they're moving up the warcaster. That can't be good.
keep it, Jakes. You're gonna need it. Can she get a charge? No charge. Didn't think so. So make use of parry. We'll get in behind. We'll start swinging away. Nothing else, we should take out the one and whittle out the other. Crap! Oh, there we go. The leg made it sound like a miss. Should be it for Jake's. Oh, got one more. Where's Rourke? There you are. Attack, right? No. Oh. Long live the king. I've only got the one, so I don't want to risk it. This is not working out for me. Jeez, how does this guy have such luck? Stop dodging and die. I'm down. Thank you. Let's move you completely off the bridge just to be safe. And the turn, and that should be game. I know. That seems like the most redundant move a man of war could make. Oh, 
Well, it took 72 minutes this time, but I imagine about half of that was lag. So for that, I'm sorry, everyone, but I hope you enjoyed at least the mission experience. Again, I will upload my previous one, which will be faster. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description below, in case you wish to skip right to the faster one. But again, it is without game sound, just my voice commentary. So thanks so much for your patience and for joining me on this edition of Tuesday Tabletop Translations. Let's see what progression we make at this point. Something for the Lancer. Oh, that's nice. Alright, see you next week.